Hi, I'm Sam Cunnington, Global Product Manager here at Ambu, working across our anesthesia product portfolio. And today, we're going to be talking about the Spur2 Resuscitator, specifically the, the features and benefits of the device. Resuscitators have been at the heart of the Ambu product portfolio for over 65 years, stretching back to the release of the original Ambu bag in 1956. Today, the Spur2 represents Ambu's latest development in resuscitator technology. The Spur2 is a disposable resuscitator that is available in three sizes, adult, pediatric, and infant. It's available in a range of kits featuring various accessories, including face masks of differing sizes, peep valves, and manometers as well. The infant size Spur2 is also available with a reservoir tube instead of a reservoir bag. All Spur2 devices are MR conditional, they're supplied non-sterile, and each comes packaged in a color-coded plastic pouch that features a handle for transportation. Some adult and pediatric Spur2 products are also supplied in a compressed state for convenient storage. And these products must always be unfolded prior to use. Now we'll take a closer look at the device itself and we'll start at the, at the back of the product. Uh, we have the oxygen reservoir that acts as a temporary storage space for any supplementary oxygen introduced into the spur through the oxygen tubing. When connected to an oxygen source, the Spur2 is capable of supplying up to 100% FiO2, and even in cases where the oxygen reservoir may be punctured, the reservoir is still able to hold oxygen and ensure adequate ventilation and oxygenation of the patient can continue. Next we have the compression bag. This bag is made from a thin SEBS material and has excellent recoil to support ventilation of the patient. The Spur2 also has a low weight and is designed to be ergonomic. The compression bag features an integrated handle uh, and has a textured safe grip surface, both of which are designed to improve handling of the device throughout prolonged periods of ventilation. Moving forward, we have a pressure limiting valve system, which prevents the delivery of excessive pressures to the patient. And this feature is included on all Spur2 products and is designed to activate at a pressure of 40 centimeters of water. There's also an override clip, which can be engaged if higher pressures are required. This clip prevents the valve from activating. Most Spur2 products also come with an end port. Uh, and this end port can be used for the purposes of end tidal CO2 monitoring or the delivery of medication. Next, we have a single shutter valve system that links the compression bag with the patient connector. The single shutter valve provides reliable functionality and ventilation through minimizing leakages. The valve system, as well as the other valves included in the Spur2 design, is contained in a transparent housing, which allows users to observe the functionality of the valves during use. The patient connector itself is a swivel connector which permits 360 degree rotation of the resuscitator and therefore allows for the user to optimize their positioning without interrupting ventilation of the patient. In addition to this, there is also a swivel connector between the compression bag and the patient connector. And this also permits 360 degree rotation of the compression bag to assist with the user's hand positioning. Located above the patient connector is the manometer port and this allows for the Ambu disposable pressure manometer to be connected to the Spur2 for the purposes of pressure monitoring. Finally, looking at the expiratory port, this is where a splash guard is located. And this has the function of directing patient exhalations and fluids away from the user. The splash guard may be replaced with an Ambu peep valve if required, and this does not require the use of a separate adapter. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to learn more about the Spur2 Resuscitator, please do contact your local Ambu representative or visit the Spur2 Resuscitator webpage.